I actually just joked us in the podcast. Our one of our our person who does all our talent and booking, Kelly, she gives me shit all the time because I'm never excited about guests, mm-hmm. and it's not out of like I don't care. I just I'm trained that the way. professionalism. Like I was told when I got GMA, like the biggest thing is like if you care about don't celebrities, like oh yeah, they go. You now need to not care about mm-hmm. celebrities. Like mm-hmm. they will walk down on set, they will talk to you, you will look at them, you have to act insanely normal to them. Mm-hmm. Like Adam Sandler walked down on set one day. This was crazy. He hit this guy hits me on the back and he goes, How the fuck are we doing this morning? Adam it was Sandler. Adam Sandler. And like holy out. shit, like I should I should shit my pants. Like that's crazy. That's Adam shit. Sandler. But you gotta be like, oh, how you doing? You gotta just be really nice and yeah. keep her. I met Anna Kendrick, I absolutely pissed myself. Yeah. Um, Paul Rudd. But like what, what you, you had to your, what, That's why I don't get excited anymore. What do you think was your most uh challenging celebrity encounter? Either you, either being you were a total like fanboy geeked out about it, or they were just an asshole, or what was like the one thing where you were like, oh my god, this person geeked out, Paul Rudd and Anna Kendrick for sure. I had a huge crush on Anna Kendrick, yeah, big celebrity her. crush. Man, when Pitch Perfect was cooking, Anna yeah, Kendrick it was, was my girl. Into the woods, we, we, she was we great. tweeted back Took a, a picture couple with me. Awesome. I was like, oh, she's tweeting at me. Oh my god. Yep. Uh, uh, Paul Rudd though. Yeah. Because I was like, I just want, I want him to like me, and I mean, he did. It was one time. We talked about Tim and Eric, which I was like, man, what if he doesn't remember doing the Tim and Eric bit, and he loved it. The hardest was Gene Simmons for sure. Uh, uh, just because he's a fucking just, just like I think not everything there. I said to him, he was like, "You're an idiot." Like he just <laughs> he go he he said, "Hey, we're gonna do this thing." I said, "Yeah." He goes, "Well, let's go, let's go." And I'm like, "Are you Gene Simmons is fucking the on?" I mean, like I don't like mm, yeah, that's like what are we doing here? Right, um, right. Shaq was the best though. Always Shaq. Shaq remembered the me diesel, consistently. Man. I have a really? I have a collage. The first time he came on, we had this like picture frame. We take a picture of guests. And sometimes I'd get in them, and they'd drag me in there. And he came over and he like put it like, p- like choked me, pretend yeah. to choke me. And the next time he came, he goes, "Hey, we gotta do a sequel." So he did another one where he choked so. me a little more. They did another one looks like he's killing me. And the last one, where the are last these pictures? one, I got I gotta pull it up. You don't have to pull it up right now, but we definitely gotta put it in there. Yeah, the the, the last awesome. one, he 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 points to me down the hall and he said, "Come here." And he takes a chair and he goes, "Get up on the chair." And he made me look like he was like force choking me up. <laughs> it was crazy. So like, most of the celebrity interactions were great. Gene Simmons still fine. The worst one is the, my my two woats woats. I, I remember you telling me one of Chewbacca them. Chewbacca mom. Yeah. Oh, that was the one. Oh my Chewbacca god. Chewbacca mom. The bane of my existence. Who is the definition of fifteen minutes? Maybe fifteen seconds of fame. And then Tony Robbins, the fucking life coach guy. Yeah. He was just a piece of shit. Which He's is like, funny to think because yeah, you know. A, he That's was, the one guy who should be a complete like sweetheart. You know, there is there is a moment actually. My boss at the point said like, "Hey, you got to be careful," because I was doing like a Periscope with him. Uh-huh. He was doing this thing. He was answering questions, and he had this whole thing about like he's like it's like if you have mental health problems, like like I don't believe in that. Like I don't. He, he's like he's like it, it's about your mindset. And I looked off to my. I was like. Are you fucking? And I made a face that he definitely saw. Me. I was like, "Hey, be careful!" I'm like, "This fucking douchebag." Fuck bag. that! I mean, coming from a, like a life coach. Yeah, what like, the fuck? You walk on coals for three thousand dollars at your fucking life camp. So yeah, I don't. Fuck I don't like Tony here. Robbins, and I don't like Chewbacca. Chewbacca, mom. mom. It's like, bitch. I have talked to like the cream of the crop, the most important people in the world, and you she, are the worst of all. She was so nice when she got there. She's like, "Oh, we'd love to come back and do stuff." Remember, she had the biggest fucking video like ever, ever at the Facebook time. time. Yeah. Like I'd love to come back and do all these things, oh, and then we gave her a box of fucking Star Wars toys. And you, if you've never seen an ego boost, because then we come, they go, "Hey, can we have your number?" She goes, "Oh, I'll, I'll keep in touch." Like I think this is maybe I need to start. And we were like, "What the fuck happened?" Five minutes ago, you were the best, uh, and then she was an asshole. Fuck that, Chewbacca mom. That's that's some obnoxious shit. Get out of here. 